but it's uh, Fott who's going for the Diamondbacks. Brandon Fott goes in. He pitched a bullpen game, started a bullpen game, was not great. But the bullpen is actually quite deep. They've got a bunch of different arms, and it seems to work for them. Uh, I know it's been pretty good this year, but it seems to have gotten better, especially once they got Paul Seawald Al at the very end. Great, great point. Uh, I, I find it, first of all, Tori Lovello, Renstrom, whoever, how they've managed this yeah. postseason, it's a snapshot, although – since September, they've had the third lowest ERA uh, behind the Dodgers and the Brewers in, in a bullpen ERA. What I like about this is that we're finally kind of, I hate to say old school, but we're getting to where we get different looks. And even though they have to face multiple batters, you're seeing different arms, different arm angles, different velocity, different pitches for a long period of time, and it still happens. You're seeing kind of the same guy. I mean, you look right here uh, with Joe Montiply, uh, fastball, breaking ball. We got, uh, what do we got? Uh, Miguel Castro here, I'm sorry, with a fastball slider. Ah. I want to just do two pitches. Relievers can't, don't have the luxury to have multiple pitches. You got to come in there, throw that fastball right there, as uh, Andrew Sol Solfrank just did, with a nice breaking ball. Fastball, breaking ball. But if you're watching these angles and the way they come about, I love Ryan Thompson. Are you kidding me? This is all. Here it is, baby. Maybe oh, hit it. Gosh. Little backdoor slider to Freeman. Hello. This is probably about as close to what we've been seeing mostly with high, uh, over-the-top conventional delivery from Kevin uh, Ginkle. Ginkle and then the breaking ball. And then, as you said, with respect to the trade of Paul Seawald, also funky, different delivery, different slot. You're getting a different look. And when you go bullpen day, as you love, Check this out. All the lefties they use, the righties, but you morph this into one. Hello, that's what hitting coaches are looking at. And if it means in the third, fourth, fifth, or sixth inning, and you have multiple relievers, you're looking at a lot of different movement. And even though it's still fastball slider, fastball changeup, it's coming out of different angles and different looks. And to even, uh, even boil that down even more, you end up seeing how their pitches and what the window comes out. And here we go, a little piece right here, stack cast powered by Google Cloud, BK. Job, and you got right here, this is just a little more sophisticated look. You see what the hitters have to have to see. This is a release point. There they are on the mound. And you got the righties and the lefties. It's a lot to look at. It likens a lot for me of an old school bullpen that has a lot of yeah, different angles. Yeah, really well done, Al, because I mean, you just think about it. <clears throat> Who they set up to get to see their closer is a, is a totally different look. And honestly, velocity-wise, it's not like this staff is like off the chart with velocity, but they throw strikes and they don't give up home runs out of the bullpen. Well, you know, it's, the Rays did this a few years ago. and they, they did. They engineered it where you have different slots. Ideally, if you're batting, you'll get three different uh, at-bats yeah. against something radically different that you just can't train and track as well if you see those different things. I don't know how old school that is. It's kind of a new philosophy. I, I say utilizing. old school because what Dan alluded to, it, we're, we're seeing a lot of power arms. You develop in the, the minor the leagues. cookie cutter sort of thing. And it's the 95 to 100 yeah, yeah, yeah. mile hour. Right. He's got a fastball Everybody's like Kevin roll. Ginkle. Right. Where Ginkle straightforward like this. You right. Know, now it's different. I know what you're saying. The yeah. other, you know, the thing we don't talk about much, bullpens for me are like a chain link fence. When they get confident, when they start to believe in one another out there, it's just incredible what they're able to do within the context of helping your club win. It's amazing. It's the closest knit group of the team. They, they protect one another. They walk out to the outfield. They sit behind the Yeah, they're the brothers fence. in arms. Man. They are. They are. 